couldn't believe it that 18 to 30 holidays had cancelled about five, six years ago. Did you know that? No, why? Because they don't, there's no fucking need for them anymore, apparently. They, the, the 18 to 30 year old bracket of going out, you know, Malia, Magaluf, all that shit, <clears throat> mm-hmm. it isn't a thing now, which I couldn't believe. Wow. Because they just don't do it. They don't, they don't binge drink like they used to. And then people look and go, oh, you know, that's a really good thing, you know, but it's fucking not. Because it's, it, if you've done any of those sort of holidays, when technically you, it is. Well, no, it's not. <laughs> maybe not. Maybe not for mental health, <laughs> but, you know, but for physical health. Though. No, but it's true, isn't it? You know, you, most people who experience those types of holidays when they're eighteen to twenty-five, they have a fucking great time. Mate, I tell you, I, tell you I can't what, believe they're not a thing. I tell you, fucking why is because back when we were out fucking on the piss and, and do, getting up to all sorts, no fuck right camera phones. Yeah, what, do you reckon so, that's what it is now? Probably, isn't it? mate. Yeah, you're fucking like anything yeah, you do true. when you're hammered now, it's just going to mm. be all over the internet, yeah, isn't it? True. And then that's the yeah. other danger. You can't. You can't like be anonymous anymore. Like if you if you're out and you do anything, <laughs> like it's yeah. fucking you viral, aren't you? On yeah. TikTok, yeah, you stare at a good. girl like, for for fucking a second long too too long in the gym, and you're you're on TikTok these days. So it's it's mad. Yeah, yeah. yeah I just thought that was mad though. Yeah, I think that culture's changed in the military as well. So we used to be out four or five nights a week consistently, yeah. like down Union Street. That was when Union Street used to stretch from the top of Royal Parade down to Dance Academy. Yeah. And that was how we bonded as as a troop, as a company, as a unit. Now you go into, I mean, I haven't been on account for a while now, but when I did, lads have got 80 pound shirts, their lockers are full of protein, they've done a gym every night. And rather than go out, they just jump on Tinder, swipe left a couple of times. They're like, lads, we're back in an hour, get in their car and drive off, come back. And then they go to work the next day. Used to, this is, I kind of caught the tail end of this generation, but it was when people didn't really have cars. So in the military, you would stay on camp on the weekend. And I remember someone telling me a story back at, at 4-2 Commando at, at Bickley. They used to have a bus called the Bickley Bomber. And all the lads, this is like the 80, late 80s, early 90s, they get on this bus and they go to the Sundar in town. And you know where the toilets are? Mm-hmm. So there used to be a guy in there that would be like a, not a security guard, because there's showers down there, right? So all the lads would go and give them they go to like Debenhams, wherever, get their kit, give it to him, give him a couple quid. They go out drinking. It's up to them where they stayed for that night, but they'd never go back to, to Bickley because taxis were rare and they didn't have cars and you couldn't drink drive anyway. So they would, you know, go out and find a woman or wander the streets tonight. They'd meet back at the Sunday the next day, go down, see the guy, have a shower, put their new clothes on they bought the day before, <laughs> go out again, meet again Sunday. And then they go back and they bonded. Now... 12 o'clock on a Friday, all the lads are in their cars, wheels are burning, they're up the motorway, driving nine hours to go home for a day. Hmm. So there's, the, it kind of feels it, a bit different it's defi- Generation's definitely changing, even like, even with football. I was speaking to one of my mates the other day, and he, we're only 33, and obviously we played football from like a young age together. And he was saying the the young 20-year-old lads, like they, they're not even coming on their like end of year piss-ups and all that. And, and that there used to be mandatory. You know what mm. I mean? When you play for a football team, it's that camaraderie. It's that you do it together. So we used to do like a Christmas do, end of season football do. Everyone has to go. No, no exceptions. It's like now no, the young lads don't go. Right. They just don't want to go on it. So you end up with just the old fucking fogies, you know, <laughs> all the boys in their 30s and that's it. Because the young boys just... They're not into it. They're but you wonder, it. you wonder a little bit, don't you? Like, maybe this is a contributing factor to some men's mental health. They don't have those male relationships like that, yeah. where they're out and it's just, you know, the testosterone fueled yeah. male environment where they're picking their noses and farting and, and yeah. talking about this and talking about that, having a bit of a release at the end of a week. Because it's, I mean, it's different for women as well. But nowadays, the lines are very blurred between responsibilities as a, as a father and a mother. Like it used to be quite clear cut, didn't it? Like one would go, generally the dad would go and work all the time, come home, bring the money. The mum would maybe work part time, but look after the house and the kids. Now, and I can only speak from a, a man's point of view, you got to do the school runs. You got to have a job. You got to be at the football, the gymnastics. You got to do the bedtime, the wake up routine and all of it. And it's all mixed and merged. And you know, there's only so many hours in a week and the time that you used to have with the lads at the, the Christmas football thing or the, the weekend out or the rugby club thing, there's not much time for that anymore. And maybe, I don't know, maybe that, I just thought about this now, but maybe that contributes to it because you need that kind of male camaraderie, don't you? <laughs> 